Round one. Fight. Zero Blast landing that V skill. That Snatcher is going to start building V Trigger 2. He has opted for V Trigger 2. Command grab there for LTLs. Looking to close the gaps real quick. Whiffs on the command grab, punished by Psycho Rising. Zero Blast misses the jump in there. More V skill work. Nice V reversal from LTL. LTL opting for V Trigger 1. Psycho Knuckle there from Cerroblast. Misses the Psycho Rising. Doesn't get really punished for it. Run and throw from LTL. Went for the command grab. Wake up DP. EX Psycho Upper from Cerroblast. Activates his trigger. Enhanced Snatcher. Oh my goodness. The EX. Look at. Oh my goodness. EX Run stuffs. Anything that Ed just tried to do. I'm at a loss for words because I don't know what to say anymore about this character. Crush counter. Fierce. Forward fierce now from LTL. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Cerroblast is mistiming his jump ins. The Snatcher touches, but not quite. Back throw from Cerroblast, gets some space. Trying to play footsies with Abigail. No easy task. Another back throw for Cerroblast. Wake up Super says, okay. Psycho Snatcher, Crouch Media Punch. Psycho Upper gets the stun. Psycho Knuckles, Psycho Snatcher. Goodbye. One round apiece. Going into game number three. Sarah Blast with a bit of a life lead to start. Dash up, command throw, LTL with the damage. Look at all of that damage off of the crush counter. EX Psycho Upper, get off me, says Sarah Blast. Nice anti-air there from LTL. Nice anti-air in response. The crush counter and the damage. Watch out. Oh, fails to convert. EX Psycho Upper. Sarah Blast has a bit of life to work with, but he's got to find some kind of miracle real quick. Psycho Knuckle lands, Piano Keys. Psycho Knuckle again, Anti-Air, misses the Piano Keys the second time. Still has full trigger to work with. Psycho Knuckle charge, cancels it, but unsafe. Gets caught with a low forward, and Serral Blast losing the first game to LTL. This is still winner's semifinal, so I believe it's still two out of three, but I'm not entirely sure. I will double check. Round one, fight. Sorry, it is actually first to three, so it is best out of five. Cerroblast has some room to work with, has opted to stick with Ed, and is facing a huge life deficit early. Abigail doing some work. Nice jump in, nice throw bait from Cerroblast. Went for the EX command grab, shorted it, and Cerroblast is going to land some damage here. Down Psycho Snatcher to get some damage and corner carry. Activates and then EX Psycho Upper to beat the EX Run and the neutral jump. Shinbi Kami going to work. Uh, uh, uh. Say goodnight. First round, Cerro Blast game number two. Round two. Point. No anti air from Cerro Blast, kind of just hanging back, waiting for his moment. Abigail throwing out those long ranging buttons. Big time damage as well on the side of the big Canadian. Misses the command throw and is going to get punished for it. Down V skill to finish the combo. A good chunk of percentage off of Abigail's life. Went for the EX run. Whiffs on the grab. Psycho Snatcher gets a juggle from the fireball. Another Psycho Snatcher blocks the V reversal this time. Counters the flip with the Psycho Rising. Sarah Blast. One more touch, gets the Psycho Rising. Game number two going to Cerroblast. Solid work thus far. Ed wins. <coughs> Round one. Going into game number three, no changes from either player. No anti-air from LTL. That might be a weakness in his game that Cerroblast is gonna try to exploit. We will have to see. Nice anti-air super kicks from Zero Blast. That stand medium kick is Ed's best anti-air without a doubt aside from specials. Nice jump back, get away and gets the jump in. Punishing the command throw, oh my goodness. 
the damage. Cerebless trying to punch through armor and it's getting caught with it. Jumps back to get away from the command throw, but that Grey Life is going to rebuild unless Cerebless finds a hit. He does, in fact, find one. Just a little bit left to finish the round. Goes for the low forward. That's supposed to be safe, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently not. And oh my goodness, Cerebless managing to land that jump fierce. Almost looking like an instant overhead. I don't think that's actually real. Counters the sweep with the fireball, but gets caught with a forward fierce. Back row from Cerebless. Going to try and get some space. EX command run, no good. Nice air to air from Cerebrast, stays in front. It's gonna look to convert this combo and this pressure, find a throw, throw from LTL. Staves off the pressure a little bit. Misses the anti-air, the big time damage coming from Cerebrast. One more conversion with a super will do it. It's gonna start looking for a way to do so. Keeps the pressure with the piano keys. And again, nothing that the big boy can do. <coughs> And LTL looking for an answer, actually prompting Cerroblast. What the hell do I do against that? I think Abigail Punch would have worked. We will have to see. But 2-1 lead now for Cerroblast. Looking to finish this one off and send LTL to losers. Hits the regular V skill, uncharged, and lands the jump in. We're seeing a weakness in LTL's game right now that he will have to shore up to continue to compete at a high level right now. Beautiful corner pressure now from Cerroblast trying to finish this one off and he is testing the anti-air ability of Abigail a ton but at, uh, LTL with the EX run gets away and gets a fully charged down fierce misses and gets caught with another Psycho Snatcher uncharged EX run into the throw good gracious is it ever gonna stop when it comes to Abigail anti-air nope Psycho Knuckle to the other side nice crouch jab gets both hits and gets the finish beautifully done there from LTL to stave off something that hasn't been working thus far and he's got an anti-air and I think that's going to be the key for the rest of this one and an anti-air from Cerroblast catching the flip with Psycho Rising another forward throw fully charged V-Skill no button this time from LTL which is smart because it's super plus for Ed I don't think LTL knows this matchup very well that's going to get punished big time damage on the side of Abigail right now couple of fierces that's about it big whiff Tried to charge Fierce, nothing going. No anti-air, again getting caught. LTL's anti-air game needs to be shored up for the rest of this one. Cerroblast with the meaty Fierce. Got the pop-up, but nothing else. EX Fireball, Psycho Knuckle to get around. Abigail Punch, good counter, converts super. Is this enough? There is a lot of damage on this table, not quite one more touch. Abigail can flick you in the head to kill you. Activation, charge Fierce, throw. Guard break my god! Abigail For wins. those of you who believe that that is a dumb character that you are looking on on screen, it is 100% true. I'm going to be joined by PB and SLD. Bus ass! For like two Fire. seconds. <laughs> Here we go. Game number five. Cerroblast looking to avoid going into loser's bracket. This is winner's top eight. LTL looking to continue his strong run with a strong character. First anti-air we've seen in a while from LTL. Look out, crush counter and corner pressure. This is not where you want to be if you are facing Abigail. One more, the command throw is going to get the stun and he's going to build some meter. One more, a Canadian maple bitch slap and it is now match point for LTL. Good conversion, nice tech, but great conversion from Cerroblast. Lengthy anti-air with the Cycle Rising. Gets the crush counter, another Cycle Rising, convert with down B skill to the corner now. And that's not exactly an uncomfortable place for LTL, but you would rather have more space to work with. Stays in front, goes for the neutral jump, doesn't get the throw. The back throw would have done it for Cerroblast. Instead, empty jump throw, back throw does get the stun. This will finish the round, assuming Cerroblast doesn't drop it, which he doesn't. Last game, last round. Nice. Cerroblast using the first part of the fireball to bait the jump and then landing the Psycho Rising. Psycho Knuckle into Psycho Flicker. Beautifully done there from Cerroblast to get a good chunk of change off. Catches the jump in. Nicely done there from Cerroblast. Psycho Rising again. 
Psycho Snatcher catches, Fireball juggles, Psycho Snatcher down V-Skill, builds that V-Meter. And the corner pressure now from Cerro Blast and baits the Abigail punch. All the pressure in the world. That is enough. Cerro Blast moving into top four.